when I went to Maker Fair next, I saw 3D printers, and I was fairly confident in CAD. I wanted to talk to Abe, and it was pretty much just, hey, look what I'm doing. I have a team here, and we have no real way to fabricate what we're doing. Could we have a printer for you or something? <laughs> and to my complete and utter shock, he said yes. <laughs> What happened from there is over the summer, I started a lab space in my backyard. I, had, I still have the original team of 10 kids that started on printing with me, and we're now teaching about 20 to 30 on a regular weekly basis. This, I mean, this summer, three kids got internships that college students want. One with Maiden Space, another with the World Economic Forum Company, another with, geez, I don't even remember what it was, but it was another Bay Area startup accelerator. I personally went to work for a biomedical company in Hawaii, and I brought one of the printers with me at Q. Currently, their engineering turnaround time was around three weeks for new prototypes. We shortened that to a day. Just wow. the, the, the reason that I invited Riley here is I need your help. I need your friend's help. I need your neighbor's help. I need your colleague's help to find more Riley's. Because this is the future. Riley is the future. Riley went to Hawaii on an internship to a well-established company with a cube 3D printer, and he completely, during summer vacation, changed the way that they do new product development. They learned it from a 16-year-old. And, and the point is that th this is the face of the future. And, and if there is one thing that we can do, if there is one thing that we can do is to give young kids who get it, they don't need a lot of instruction, they don't need a lot of explanation, they get it. How long did it take you, how long did it take you to get up and running? Oh, oh gee, so I actually built the first of the 3D printer we were given myself. It was one of the original Ratman kits, so it, we saw it in the box, it was just this big mass of plexiglass and steel. Looked at it very carefully, put it away for two days. Then once the weekend started, we set up a really complicated build area, we got it up and running in a month. Yeah. And, and in those days, he had to build it from a kit. Today, you can unplug it and get it up and running in 10 minutes. And so, we, the world needs more wireless, and our responsibility is to make that possible.